You've probably heard the term active suspension, but a chakra strut doesn't really go anywhere. So what makes it active? We'll explain next. To meet the criteria for active suspension, a shock or strut must be able to react to three critical streams of information. First, it must be able to act on information from the ABS and stability control system. Second, it must measure the vehicle's body movement. And third, it must detect the extent and rate of the vehicle's suspension movement. With these three pieces of information, the suspension can actively adjust the compression and rebound of the shock or strut. Engineers and automakers include this feature on a vehicle because an active dampener allows the driver to take a ride without compromise. These three inputs can be used to detect a rough road or an emergency situation in which body roll could change the stability of a vehicle. Ride height sensors are also involved with this system. Ride height sensors not only measure the position of the suspension, but also the rate of movement. These are sometimes referred to as suspension position or wheel displacement sensors, and data from these sensors are used to measure the movement of the suspension. By knowing how far and fast the suspension is moving, the module can use the information to determine the size of the orifice in the dampener to control compression and rebound. These sensors should be calibrated if a sensor is replaced, a module is reprogrammed, or if the battery dies. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.